This file is called Basic Construct GGB. It is the ready-to-use GeoGebra file for all compass and straight edge constructions with GeoGebra. What makes it special? GeoGebra has many tools that are very powerful, but when you're doing compass and straight edge, you only have a compass and straight edge. This toolbar has been customized so that only the tools that correspond to a compass and straight edge are available. Let's see that. These two tools correspond to a pencil. You can draw a point with a pencil and you can mark an intersection point with a pencil. With a pencil and a straight edge, you can draw a line, a line segment, or a ray. And this is the compass tool, which we will explain in a few minutes. So these six tools are pencil, straight edge, compass. What are the other six tools? This is the move tool. This allows us to move labels off of points. It allows us to move points closer. But its main purpose in compass and straight edge is to test that the construction is properly done. These three tools over here are adjust your drawing pad tools. Oops, my construction is way over. Let me move it back towards the middle. This is the move drawing pad tool. These are zoom out and zoom in tools, or you could use your mouse button. Now, for those of you who are familiar with GeoGebra, these tools are, are out of position. That is because, although this is the angle tool, we are only going to use it as a labeling tool. And similarly, the text tool is only going to be used as a label tool. So these are labeling tools over here. These are our main tools. Let's see how they work. Let's make a line segment. Line segment. So I click twice. I get three objects. I get a point, another point, and the segment itself. Watch me use the move tool to move that label over here. Now suppose I want to make a circle over here with a center point whose radius is this distance. How do I do that with GeoGebra? I would take my point tool and make another point. And then I would take my compass tool and measure off the start of the radius. So I'm clicking, measure off the end of the radius, just like a compass. And now drag my circle over here to the center point, make it glow, and click. So that's exactly how a compass works. You measure off the radius and then you tell it where you want the center point and it draws a circle with this radius here. Let's see that that radius works. So we are testing our construction with the move tool. Move. If I change A or B, the radius of this circle should change. So let's see. Yep. So it's a dynamic construction. Blue points can be moved. Notice that this is blue. Notice that the circle is black and I can't move it because it is dependent on C and AB. Right. Now, what did I mean about this being a labeling tool? Let's draw an angle. So, we use the ray tool, draw two points, and then come back to this point and draw another. So this is our angle. Here's where we're going to use the move tool so we can see this. So our angle is EDF. In real life, with a pencil, we would draw a little arc here and put an alpha here. The only way you can do that in GeoGebra is to use the angle tool. So we click on the angle tool, click on E and then D and then F just like you would read it. Now unfortunately it always gives a value, but we don't want that with compass and straight edge constructions. So in order to change this to a name, we right click, choose properties, go to the basic tab here, and where it says show label, right now it's value, we go to the right and choose name. Close, and there it says alpha. So we're using this tool to label our angles, not to make our angles. So we have available exactly those tools that correspond to a pencil, a straight edge, and a compass. But 
then in the end they're dynamic and we can test them and see how they work and have a little bit of fun. We can even decorate them with all different colors. And if this looks up a little bit too high for us, we can move it down. And we can take pictures, we can copy this to the clipboard, put it in a file. We have ways of working with it. So it makes compass and straight edge a lot more fun to do.